In this tutorial, we will be using Chainsafe SDK to integrate MetaMask into our Unity game. So we want to be able to log in um, by connecting to our wallet and also log out. Uh, as a bonus, we will also show you how to display a, uh, your wallet address uh, into your customized Unity game. So here is a demonstration of my, uh, the game I'm developing right now. And uh, as you can see, after you connect to your wallet, you can uh, have your wallet address displayed here, and then you can also disconnect your wallet. Uh, since I already connected my wallet before, uh, the pop-up is not going to show up up here. But if you are going to have new logins, uh, you, you will be have like a pop-up showing uh, after you hit the connect wallet. So let's start with uh, downloading the SDK from their website called chainsafe.io. If you go to their website, the, there's a tab called Gaming, which is the new uh, product that they're developing right now. And then you can go to the uh, GitHub page and then go to their uh, release. And then you can just download the latest release package, the Web3 uh, Unity package. And after you download your um, package, you can just drag your package into your Unity. Uh, in my case, I already dragged it in, so I'm not going to show it again, but it's going to be uh, right here. So uh, at this moment, you will be all set up for uh, connecting your um, uh, MetaMask. So er after everything set up, uh, you want to create a star scene. So just you can create a uh, star scene like uh, what I did here. And then, um, and then in this star scene, you will be creating a connect wallet button. Uh, you can design whatever you want. Just uh, create a new UI button here uh, by clicking UI and then button. You can customize your UI button for whatever shape you want or color you want. And then uh, you will be looking for uh, a script within the package that you just imported. Uh, so under the Webster Unity package, um, and you will go to the folder called scripts. Under the scripts folder, you will see there is um, a folder called things. And there are two uh, different methods for logging. One is wallet logging for, uh, uh, I guess, for Windows or Mac, the standalone uh, Unity game. And the web uh, logging is for the, uh, the WebGL. Uh, framework. So in this case, I'm going to use a WebGL, so uh, we will be using this script. So um, I also created another um, uh, empty object. Uh, by creating that, you can just right click and then do create empty. And after you create empty uh, uh, object, you can just drag that um, web logging on C sharp into this uh, game object as uh, its components. And then you can go uh, go back to your um, go back to your button that you just created for connect your wallet, and then just under the onclick uh, function, you want to uh, add a new one, and then just drag that web login into here, and then you can uh, look for the web login uh, um, C sharp script, and then just hit on login. So uh, that's pretty much it for um, for how to create the customize connecting uh, MetaMask button here. Now let's take a look at uh, the script. So in the script, uh, they have the own login function and that function call, uh, two other functions. One is your own um, customized function for connecting MetaMask and the other is uh, defined below as uh, what happened uh, after you connect your wallet. And you can want to look at uh, this line here where they uh, save the account address or the wallet address um, uh, to the player prefab such that uh, th this will be the, the account, the wallet address will be accessible to all the things. And uh, in this line, they just, uh, after the connection, they will load the, uh, the scene to the, uh, the next one uh, after connection. So just make sure that in your uh, build settings, um, uh, you want to if you, you want to put the, the next scene, you want to be loaded right after the start scene. So in this case, it's my room. Um, so that's it for the uh, start scene and uh, for the, for the uh, connect wallet button. Next, we'll go to the room scene where we were doing the disconnect button here. So um, as a user, 
or of MetaMask, you can disconnect your wallet to any app uh, by all means. Um, so you can just do it right here in your MetaMask here. And then if you hit on uh, the account number and if you hit on disconnect this account, then you can just disconnect your uh, wallet, wallet from any app. So, but uh, however, uh, since we all come from like a, a Web2 kind of um, transition, um, the Web2 tech era, we we are used to the concept of logout. So that's why we have that disconnect button here. So, uh, but the script for disconnection is uh, pretty simple. So if you go to uh, logout, uh, as you can see, um, the script right here is um, very simple. It's just like on logout, we uh, reset the play fraps uh, at to to like a empty string, and then you just load the scene back to the zero scene, so to the start scene. So uh, and then that's just uh, pretty much it. You can just write it by your own, uh, and then you don't need anything external. So if you want to find the the script, nonetheless, uh, you can just simply go to the script uh, folder under the, the SDK, and you go to uh, pref uh, prefabs. And then you go to the wallet, uh, and then the second one is that log, uh, the logout script. So uh, as usual, you still want to create empty out game object and then drag that uh, script into that game object, and then you want to create that uh, disconnect uh, the logout, um, this logout button here, and then you can just click on plus. You drag the the logout here. And then uh, you just click on uh, Web3 Logout and just uh, click on On Logout. And that's pretty much it. Um, so now you have both the logging and the logout set up for your uh, Unity. And uh, for the wallet number, um, it's uh, uh, just a little bit addition. Uh, and you can actually write that function by your own. So let's take a look about how I did the, the wallet number field right here. So um, so it's very simple that you can just create a, a new UI, you, new text text mesh pro UI, and then uh, you can just put like a, a placeholder right here, and then you can just write a two line um, script. So here is the script I wrote. I named it. I named it player info, and then you have that public variable called text mesh pro UGUI. Um, just be mindful that there are different types of um, text mesh uh, text type um so here is this one uh, here and there's another one called text mesh pro there's no UGI in the end and also the, the one that's just called text so just make sure that you have that uh you you know the type of the ui you created and then on start you can just um, um get the the wallet address uh by calling this chain save sdk called player fraps dog string and then you just input um, past the account stream, and then you will uh, get the wallet address that you have saved from the previous thing, and then uh, you can just call uh, the dot text field, uh, the dot text component in that player account um, object, and then just assign that account uh, the wallet address to that text field, and uh, uh, that's pretty much it. And then your um, your uh, wallet address will be uh, appeared in your in here. So um, just a little end or here and uh, you don't have to um, watch it if you're just here for the tutorial. Um, I just want to mention that Chain Safe SDK is a really awesome product, but a lot of times their video uh, or tutorial is not very um, informative uh, and it's often like very ambiguous. So that's why I want to make this tutorial to show that everyone who can, uh, everyone can use uh, their SDK for free. Um, and then develop their own Unity game uh, without having to um, buy a product. Because um, um, like a lot of times, if you search up like a Unity in integration uh, with a Web3, you, uh, Morales is often come up uh, on the top list. And uh, I'm pretty sure they have like a super awesome products, but just a little bit annoying that uh, if you want to use their product, you have to uh, reactivate your app uh, every three days, which I find uh, a little bit annoying. So, um, so just want to show you that there are like a free and uh, easy way to integrate your uh, wallet, uh, MetaMask wallet to Unity game by just using the free resource online. Um, and uh, also uh, for the next video, uh, I'm going to uh, sh 
do uh, show you a very awesome function I developed uh, where you can just take a screenshot, uh, upload to IPFS, and then you also you can generate uh, JSON, which also will be uploaded to IPFS, and then uh, you will mint uh, the screenshots as an NFT, um, and then which is viewable on OpenSea if you deploy on like WinkyB or like a Polygon or uh, whatsoever. So um, hopefully I can see you in the next video, and if you, you want to show some support, please click on the likes. Uh, it will be very appreciated. Um, and yeah.